No answers in books, I guess. Oh. What? Dimitri? Could this be the answer?
Thanks a lot, man. Hey, my pleasure. Awesome, yeah. Pleasure's my business, man. So what do you what do you want from this? What are you doing here? I uh it's gonna sound crazy, but I actually got your info out of this book I've been reading. Get out. Yeah, yeah, it actually like book. a card with your name and like your your address showed up here. Sure. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you read that book? Uh, of course I read that book. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh shoot. Books. All right. Hold up, hold up. Oh hey, hey. who's this boss? I was just uh, uh, he's a friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a friend. So, uh, uh, learn a little bit about life. Yeah, I'm, I just have a lot of questions. I, uh, uh, he said he could help me out. So nerd to write a book. Yeah, 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 yeah that's me. That's me. Uh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Fucking door. All right. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Sorry. Sorry about that, sir. Thanks, man. Oh, guys. Yeah, I know, I, I know it sounds a little weird, but like, I didn't know who else to go to. Came to the right place. Awesome. Let me tell you, it's definitely always a party. It, it looks, I can, I can tell a little bit, yeah. You know? <laughs> what are you talking about, this little uh, snack we got going on? It's, it's <laughs> That's a snack? Happy. Yeah. Oh, no. okay. Uh, Life's all about being happy, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Hey, listen, man, yeah, I'm here to learn from you, you know? What do you want to learn? You said you want to learn something. What do you want to learn? Uh, yeah, I was, I was going to ask you about that. Uh, like your views on life. My like views on life. Yeah, you know, yeah. My views on life. I guess, man. You're I guess. a little too squeaky clean for that, my friend. Come on, I'm just, I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, what? Right, I'll give you a little taste. Oh, wow. So you want to know about my life? How I do things. I thought I did, but I think I got a, a kind of a good glimpse already. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> you took the snapshot. Yeah. Okay, you, you don't actually know what happens. Okay. Uh huh. It's uh. Uh huh. It's not only a party, it's a dream lifestyle, my friend. Uh. Okay, you got these schmoes yeah. working from 9 to 5. Hooking up with one woman the rest of their lives. Right. Screwing that one woman. Mm. They don't get to understand what it's like to have a different woman every day. They don't understand why right. people are throwing themselves at you for a little piece of magic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I got you, man. You want a bump? Oh, uh, hey, <laughs> listen, uh, I just came here for some questions, man. Understand? You don't, you don't get our uh, our lifestyle. But I, I wish I did. Are you uh, sure? I I thought I was. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm okay. I'm okay for now. But right, I'll give you a little taste. Okay. Little taste. Woo! Oh lord. Oh god. That was fun. I guess, man. Uh, <laughs> listen, I, uh, I think I've seen, I've seen everything I need to, man. Thank you. Thank seen you so everything much. you need. My yeah. Friend, uh, you've just got here. But thank you for everything, man. But really, really, I think I should go. Hold on. Wait a minute. Now I'm starting to put it together. I know you really need to see my friend. Let me, uh, let me give you a little something that may come in handy once you get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I want you to pay a little visit to my friend. Like, uh, you need to see someone. Uh, I'm gonna be able to help you out a little bit more. It's, uh, this is blank. <laughs> so far. My friend. Okay. Thanks. Once you discover who you really are. Yeah, uh, thanks man, thanks a lot for everything, I promise, and like I said, my whatever buddy. this is, yeah, okay. Well, huh? since you're leaving, I'm, uh... Right, no, yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you enjoy, man, I really, I'll put this in my pocket, and then, uh, I'll let you carry on with, uh... Do whatever you gotta do. In life, or... Uh, okay, in no, my yeah. Eyes, my Alright, yep. Yeah.
Oh, I got you. Here's to you, man. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, God! Oh, fuck! No, 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 Oh, uh, yeah, look, look, at this party and this guy like he told me I should come check you out but he OD'd before I could leave. I don't know if you had some answers for me or what but I'm really lost man. It's good to it's have been you a here. Day. Thanks. I'll have you take a seat on the mats. Okay. But first yeah. take off your shoes. My shoes? Please take a seat. Thank you. Uh, thanks. It's a lovely place you have here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome. I'm glad you've come for my services. I am Alan Ocean. Thank you again, uh, Mr. Ocean, for, for seeing me. I've uh, been having a lot of issues lately. Today's been, today's been a weird day. Tell me why you sought me out. I, uh, I'm seeking meaning and purpose in my life. I, uh, after what happened earlier tonight, I, I don't think the hedonic approach is, is for me. But, I don't know, I came here hoping that maybe, maybe you had some answers or, or the key for the next step in my, in my path or my journey. This is fate. This is all that is in a microcosm. The system is yours if you choose to grasp it. And guidance is here if necessary. The system will consume your troubles, will eliminate them. It will free you if you simply accept Huh. Okay, um, I guess, uh, yeah, it, it, it sounds excellent, but I'm not sure if I really understand what it is you're even describing. Is, is your system like a protocol, or there are certain steps I should take, or prerequisites? Because I'm not sure if I'm, maybe it's me, uh, grasping exactly everything it is you're saying. Look, sir. System, you know about the system. Uh, yeah, you, you just you just told me about it. Yes, the system is very simple. It 
it's it's as easy as paying the dues, appearing in all the meetings, and following the rules. Uh -huh. You are automatically in contact with the divine. Uh -huh. Simply follow the rules, pay the dues. I got that part. Yep. Yeah. And then that's it. Oh, okay. Okay. The system. It's a beautiful, elegant, simple thing. Uh-huh. The rules, the meetings, pay the dues. I, yeah, the dues. I got the dues. Pay the dues. Okay, uh, I understand. Okay, all those parts, but is there is there something in your system beyond the dues? Something oh, more you don't than the understand dues. the dues. What questions do you have? No, I I understand the dues. The dues are the dues are fine. They're excellent. It's you know maybe even expected. But does your system contain anything within it that is greater than the dues? Something something beyond the dues? Beyond the dues. Yes. You have questions concerning the dues. I don't have questions concerning the dues. No, if if I may be clear, sir. Uh, my question is, after the dues, past the dues, we're past the dues. Is there more to your system, some type of application, some greater skill or, or ability to connect to the divine after the dues? Beyond, past the dues. Yes, yes. After the dues. Yes. It is as simple as communing with the divine. You follow the rules, the tenets, and among us, you will be part of the flock, and that is all you need. Okay, so I just join up and I'm okay, I'm all set. Absolutely. Uh, -huh. uh but but what exactly does your system entail? Are there are there any special requirements? Do I have to look within myself or mm, yes, the system it is built upon knowledge gained through centuries of research. We have secrets communing with the cosmos. And these secrets are yours. We obey the tenets, we understand the secrets, and this knowledge is yours, it is ours. It is a simple thing to obey the system. Did I mention the dues? Yes. What's going on? Attempting to suppress all rebellion, 
We program it so that even in their supposed resistance, they're implicitly furthering our own ends. Come on, man. I, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You see, rebellion and revolution is not a glitch in the system. It is the very mechanism that drives the machine. You would have been so much more fortunate had you chosen to chase the obscene pleasures that life has to offer, or even to dive headfirst into the pseudo-spiritual mysteries of the, the world. But no, you chose to leave the maze entirely. And once you did that, you reached the inevitable endpoints. Us. For all roads and of us. And now, the choice is simple. Join us! Return to your fucking maze! Or break oblivion! Oblivion? If what I've seen and know from this past 24 hours is true, then it's you who's gonna face oblivion, man. Pure destruction, both physical and spiritual. It's, it's crazy, man, the perversion of your so-called inexorable laws of the universe. It's just... It's man's failed, futile attempt at rebellion against the divine. You're insane. The divine? Hmm. I see you still cling to your delusions. Let me ask you this. When has this so-called divinity ever revealed itself to you? Don't tell me in the pages of those so-called sacred books. Even if your god did exist, his demands Total submission, complete obedience, when there's too much to be paid. He seeks to, to make us slaves in this world for the illusion of one hereafter. Tell me, was it worth it? Sacrificing everything for your so-called freedom? Sacrifice? What? What sacrifice, man? I met like two crazy, ultra-dogmatic people a day, and I didn't learn jack squat from either of them. What did I, what did I sacrifice? I didn't, I didn't choose to be here. Look, you brought me here. You see, science has made your god obsolete, even if he ever did exist. With cybernetics and the inevitability of singularity, we have now completed the rebellion that began when Eve first ate from the tree of knowledge. In times past, we were forced to rule through miracles, mystery, and authority. But now, technology has removed the need for such misdirection. Now mankind can finally remove what has always been and always will be its greatest enemy. None other than ourselves. The decaying flesh of this mortal vessel that chance has imprisoned us within. Those very weaknesses that supposedly make us human are compassion or irrationality, they can be removed and perfected through the welding of man in the machine. Are you, are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Man, man the machine? Okay, will you call these like bonds of imprisonment, these limitations of, of existence and consciousness and all this, they're just your psychologically biased damaged points of view, man. You, you, you see the world in all these boxes, you know? It's so compartmentalized reality and all of this choice, choice, choice. Oh, are you happy with your choice? I, what? I think, I think I know, I think I know what's going on, man. I think, I think I get it, you know? What you think is auto liberation from the mechanism of existence is just, it's just a leap into a further layer of artificial power, man. One you strive to create with the tools already provided you by the cosmos. You you argue that they're your own invention, right? And, and it's a place you go where you seek your escape from the truth. But really, you're just removing yourself from all the objections to what you believe. And, and get to believe, you know, that your, your belief of being free is equivalent to silencing them. It's not, you know? You're right that the choices ultimately come down to this. It, it is true, but, but I think now I see very clearly that the question isn't whether or not, you know, I am capable of 
of seeing through what, what decisions I'm about to make or, or anything like that. No, it's it's not that at all, man. It's it's that you have to make the choice, you know? The problem has always been that I have no choice to make. Uh, whether I want to be or not, I'm one with nature. You know, true nature, the divine, whatever you want to call it. I, I can't choose to be any different. It's just, it's just your mindset, you know, we're one. But, my dear, uh, scary, technocratic friend, it's, it's you, man. You have to make the choice. Really, the decision, knowing, knowing what I've just revealed to you, know, hearing what I'm saying to you, you have to understand. It's, it's not me you should be asking these questions to, man. It's, it's you, whether or not you're gonna dive further into this illusion of your so-called reality and, and the system you choose to follow and, and your dogmatic way of thinking you're on this pedestal or this high mountain of, of understanding, you know? It's in this, it's a futile hope of this, your clay cleaving to that dead iron, you know? Man and machine, man and machine, you stupid, ignorant person. It's, you're out of touch, you don't really see. I should be the one questioning you. Why are you stuck in these ideals? Why are you believing any system? Why can't you just be and be content with that? That you already are everything you're, you're seeking to understand or describe. It's settled, you know? You can never possess any of this, you know? This power you look for, this, this lack of defilement, you know, reaching some truth and realization. It's not a process, man. It's, a, it's, it's an unprocess. It's letting go, not clinging further. You know, everything that you you already were and ever will be in the first place. And maybe nothing that is. Now, even if what you have told me is true, the fact of the matter is simple. Your kind, the vain, solitary rebel, will always be condemned to destruction. You may think of me as the embodiment of evil. This caricature rendering, no doubt, corresponds with your impotent Manichaean morality you espouse. But in truth, it's more complex than that. I am none other than a man who understands the nature of power and global machinations. Whether or not I correspond to acknowledge your view, I'm still powerless, just like you in this all-pervading system that we inhabit. Regardless of any of this, your path ends here. No one, not I, especially not you, can save you. What is about to happen cannot be stopped tonight. I think you and I both know what is about to happen. Yes, he's ready. Take him away for processing. Man, wait a minute. Don't I? Who's this boss? I was just uh, uh, he's, a, he's a friend. He's a friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a friend. You were. I know you. You were at the party. You're that guy. You were from the. You could have stopped this. You could have let me go, man. You could have. You could have stopped me from even c coming here. Let me go. Let me go. You remember me. Such a dreamer to put